Okay. Guys, this is a pretty intense Protoss for Zerg. Apparently, Platinum 2 or 1. Um, did my usual, I wall off natural so I can get rich. It's powerful Protoss units, you know, that goes. Um, I've been doing this style lately where I do a double robo. It seems to really throw people off. Manage to just harass this game because most of their games are so aggressive. I'm pretty much went a little more defensive until I could counter. Some lengthy wasted. I just sent one the scout. This guy plays really greedy, and I start punishing him for it. Here's the double robo coming up. Robo units are just so powerful once they go air and obviously, and most people just haven't been doing that. Like very standard kind of timings, where they rush. I don't know what it is lately, but like this guy is a perfect example. He scouted it. He scouted double robo. Okay. As soon as I saw that he scouted that, I looked at him to expire. I'd get in trouble. But he doesn't. It's like every Zerg goes Hydro now. Approaches if they need some early stuff going on. Another thing this guy didn't do is kill my Observer, which you know, I kept tabs on constantly with it. Mirrors for the Harass Stars. Good old classic Immortal Harass. Good for some major Queen snipings. I know Zerg. These fire planes is so painful because your injects, creep spreading, everything. It goes down the tubes. Look at this drop. Right on the edge, he punished the same units. You can expect that he can hide much closer to his main, or further into his main. So if you're using the train here, another queen goes down. Where are we at? Your units lost. 950 already. Oh, hey, I'm an immortal. Oh, and he had those lungs up here to harass me sitting there, which I killed with the immortals. Just go that part. Another queen goes down. Yeah, I'll do that guy. Three larvae over here. He's got a bunch down here, though. I knew he was getting a little too ready for that harass, so I pull back. Keep trying to produce armies so I can protect an expansion. For good reason. Actually, you'd want to try and do some damage after I did so much damage to him. Does, man, those four immortals just does so much damage. Something I've been doing lately, I'll just so I don't accidentally select the war prison, I'm just activating it. So I get stressed out, I tend to use the wall army key. Just keep producing, keep producing, get my third up. He's on what? He's starting to fit. This is probably one of the most agitating ways to go down a Zerg, because I play many games like this, you expand like crazy, and you feel like, oh, there's no way I could lose. And then you just keep getting pounded. And your expansion just keep getting punished. Look at all these resources he has. I'm guessing a lot of them. This will be with all his queen stock, and he just can't spend. He's had a lot of art. It's a pretty big mistake. He should have just spent on, like, all that. I guess he can handle the pressure. Again, just hammering with these immortals. Really threw them off big time. You notice not lately, a lot of players I play this level. If they can't get the aggressive advantage, they just crumble. Harass is them. You can't handle the harass game with the pressure. Now 
I know this thing is extremely frustrating. At this point, he should be splitting. He should have split his army already, but now he's doing it. But see, he's obviously just maybe a one build type guy. Gal. Just going for the lurker pressure. I don't know if he does this every game or just against Protoss. Look, I was so screwed up. He has seven freaking drones on Gas Geyser. I mean, in all reality, he's on you so far ahead. He's just maxed out. He's found to be just going to handle the pressure. Look, I'm even harassing these lurkers. I think I got one of them. This is the might of the Protoss. Look at all these Immortals. Eight Immortals, two Immortals. Ten Immortals. I knew this base was dead because I was out of position. So I immediately leave. I immediately drop the expansion down here. Then he's kind of trapped in here. You know, plenty of observers help these lurkers. And his, he just didn't have enough units up here. He's a big supply, he's just gonna save more workers. Look, these immortals just come out through everything. Look at that. To make matters worse, my Colossus are gonna. He's gonna put one immortal forward to attract the spines and just jump on it. He ran away. Since he didn't have many hydras, I wasn't too worried about the workers being on friend. Look at this efficiency. It's the might of the Protoss right there. Immortals. I call it Immortals for a reason. Now, see, if you would have went Spire, like I mentioned earlier, and I had this army comp, I, mean, I would have had no chance. It would have just been wrecked. His only hope would have been if he had a ton of larva, he should have pulled back and just produce, I guess, as many roaches or whatever as he could. But it was too much GG. I mean, look at that. That's one of the most frustrating losses of Zerg. It's not Zerg main. Is look at all this economy he has built up, and it just you can't beat that army. He doesn't have the right comp.